Dad, dad, dad. Daughter, daughter, daughter. Eat weird, weird. Food, food, combination, mix, mac. Let's eat, eat, eat. Tap it and down it, down it, down it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Dad Daughter Eat Weird Food Combinations. Uh, today we're coming to you season two, episode nine, I think. And uh, today's gonna be a, a doozy. We're gonna taste test a whole bunch of different flavored deviled eggs that we've made. Uh, we found a magazine that had a whole bunch of different flavored ones in it, and we added a couple of our own plus the regular, so we could base it upon a regular one so uh, I think we'll start with the regular one first which is right here so, you want to grab your deviled egg there all right let's tap it we got a little chive on there man tap it down it A little mustardy. Mm -hmm. Made it a little mustardy this time. Good, but I need a little bit more vinegar. Maybe. A little more mayo. Mm. Alright, now we have something based upon. That was good, but first up is going to be. Uh, the flip flop is a little bit here and there. We're gonna go with the barbecue. It's uh, Dijonese pulled pork, and it's got some pickle in it, and it's right here. It's messy. It's messy. Mm -hmm. Think you could get us a couple paper towels there, buddy? Please. Because we're going to need them, I think. This is what it looks like. Got pickles, got some pulled pork on it. Alright, let's do this. Tap it. Down it. Not bad. Thank you, buddy. Definitely get the, the Dijon A's in there. Mm -hmm. Not overpowering though. That one I'll give a thumbs up. That was pretty good. Mm. Very tasty. Alright, next on the list here. Going to be summer sausage. It's pub cheese, mustard, and sausage. And it is this one right here. Get one out of there. Mmm, <laughs> tasty muscles. Tap it down. Good. That's a little spicy. The pub cheese that we picked up was jalapeno. So. Um. <laughs> You're all right. Ain't nothing like the hottest chocolate bar. Um. <laughs> I didn't mind that one. It wasn't bad. I wouldn't eat it every day. If I had a choice of deviled eggs, it wasn't bad. All right, next on our list is uh, buffalo, and it's uh, got buffalo wing sauce, blue cheese, and it's topped with celery. And it's this one right here. Smell good. All right, let's tap it down. Oh. Oh man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 
I think we need to trash me, I'm done. <laughs> you might have known. Mm-mm. Wow! Woo! Um. <laughs> she struggled with that one. I struggled a little bit. Woo! Mm. That one was a little rough. Woo! Yeah. I did not like it. Ooh, that was not tasty. That was not a tasty morsel. All right, the next one on the list is antipasti. It's mayonnaise, salami, and ghirardinera. Like they're just chopped up peppers that you would like, like put in like, uh, like uh, Italian beef sandwiches. Yeah. That's what it would be. Mm. And that's the one with the salami sticking up out of it. Oh, oh you get it. Yeah, but yeah. That was not that great either. Ugh. Mmm. That's rough. Whoo! Get my nose running a little bit. <laughs> Man. Alright, the last one on this tray is called the Triple Beat. It's got, it's made with beet hummus. Pickled beets and beet horseradish, and we basically had to make the hummus with beets. So I put it in a food processor and ground up the beets and added the hummus, and then I uh, added some uh, horseradish to the beets that I already had ground up, and then topped it with that and the, the, the pickled beets on top. So that's this one. Tried to fill them up pretty good, so we got a good good taste of it each and every time. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. It's like dirt. It's like dirt. <laughs> That's the best part about beets. Mmm, they dirt. Mmm. Tasty marzo. All right. Ew. <laughs> Next on the list. Moving on. I lost my page. <laughs> uh, let's see. We have French, or it's onion. It's called onion dip, but it's French onion dip, chives with sour cream and onion potato chips crunched up on top of it. Tap it down. It. Not bad. That's pretty good. I think a little bit more salt and pepper in that would make it better. Well, you went in for two bites. Must be good. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. I like that one. Well, the onion dip one is a good, good to go. The barbecue one was a good to go. The other ones were eh. A couple of them there were not good, but so far two out of the ones we've done so far weren't bad. The original one would have been a little bit better if I'd have doctored it up a little bit more. But we were crunched on time, so. 
So the next one is called pimento cheese. It's pimento cheese, scallions, and bacon. And this is what she looked like. Tab it. No. What happened? The texture got me. Oh. <coughs> texture. Total texture thing. I can taste just the bacon. Ugh. The texture. Texture, texture, texture. Got me. I don't think it was a, necessarily a bad taste, just the texture got me. Ugh. Ugh. The next one on the list. And it's the uh, the last one we have in our in the in the book that we wanted to pick from it is called spicy guacamole, and it's guacamole with a chipotle mayonnaise on top and a jalapeno. So this one's gonna be just a little spicy, probably. Tap it, down, down it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what guac tastes like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not like guacamole? It's good. No, not if that's what that tastes like. Now, mind you, there is the egg yolk in these as well as the base, so, in all of these. All right, well, that's done with that book. We got two left to do. Oh. I think. Mm. Or not. Mm -mm. No, we only have one left to do because we did the regular one at the beginning. So. Last one, then. This one here is one that my dad has made up for years, and uh, I've never really liked it. I think I tried it once, maybe. Uh, it's bacon horseradish uh, dip mixed with the egg yolks, and then we add topped it with a piece of bacon. So let's give this a tasty test. This is the last one, man. Bye. Bye. Tap it, down it. Uh. Oh. <coughs> Why does it taste like that? Uh, I don't know. stomach going. Mm. Mm. That was not good. I think out of all of those we had what three of them that were decent? Yeah. Man, I don't I don't know what people think of making weird weird ass deviled eggs. Ugh. Just stick to the regular old stuff, man. You got your yolk and mayonnaise and mustard and or Miracle Whip, if you like Miracle Whip and want it sweeter. And I always just add a little bit of pickle relish juice to mine and then add some vinegar. I can't have Miracle Whip. <laughs> oh, man, that was not good. Sorry about the old gags there, but I know y'all like that, but that was rough. I hate that. Mm. So, overall three, not too bad, but... I don't recommend most of those. Mm -mm. I'm not sure what that. It was a food magazine that we got most of that stuff out of, so. 
you know, online you might be able to find them if you want to give them a shot or whatever, but I don't, I don't recommend most of them. So. All right, as always, head on out to uh, YouTube channel. If this is your first time being on there, seeing one of our videos. Uh, we're in season two now. Uh, if you uh, search Dad, Daughter, Eat, Weird Food Combinations, you'll find all our videos. Or you can go out to uh, my YouTube channel, Alan Williams, and, and see them there. But like like the videos. Comment. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell. So you get all them new uploads. You know, if you don't have your notifications set on, then you won't know if we got uh, new uploads for you guys to go check out. So make sure you have your notifications on. So you can go and see uh, all our new videos or whatever. So, and as always, if you got a weird food combination that you would like us to try, uh, maybe something you like to try yourself, but you want to see us do it first to see what our reaction is or what our opinion is on it, good. Send us a comment. We'll check it out. Mm -hmm. We'll let you know what it tastes like. So, uh, yep, like, subscribe, hit that bell, share it with all your all your friends, man. Let everybody know. Check us out. We got a lot of good funny videos out there, so like doing them for you guys. So as always, yeah. we out. <laughs>